So, I just need to be truthful with you guys, guys before we start communion. I ate the entire pint of ice cream and I am full. Anyway, it tasted real good. Uh, here's another thing that tastes good, it's communion. I, I'm not just speaking about the bread uh, and the grape juice. I'm speaking about, again, the, the abundant life that was provided by Jesus. This is the point of the remembrance of this meal. The love that God has bestowed upon us through his son Jesus Christ and the sacrifice that he would die for us that needed the grace. Like he would die for us sinners that needed scoops and scoops and scoops and scoops and gallons and gallons of grace. And he did. He made it possible for me to stand before you today joyous and preach the word of God. And so we come together uh, as believers in Christ, celebrating this Holy Eucharist, this Holy Communion, together with one another and those in Christendom across the world. So, let us begin. Christ our Lord invites to his table all who love him, who earnestly repent of their sin and seek to live in peace with one another. Therefore, let us confess our sin before God and one another. <clears throat> Merciful God, we confess that we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have failed to be an obedient church. We have not done your will. We have broken your law. We have rebelled against your love. We have not loved our neighbors. and We have not heard the cry of the needy. Forgive us, we pray. Free us for joyful obedience through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hear the good news. Christ died for us while we were yet sinners. That proves God's love toward us. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. And so with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your holy name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy are you, and blessed is your Son, Jesus Christ. By the baptism of his suffering, death, and resurrection, you gave birth to your church, you delivered us from slavery to sin and death, and you made with us a new covenant by water and the Spirit. On the night in which he gave himself up for us, he took bread, gave thanks to you, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you, do this in remembrance of me. When the supper was over, he took the cup, gave thanks to you, gave it to his disciples, and said, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so, in remembrance of these, your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Pour out your Holy Spirit in us gathered here and at your home with your family. And on these gifts of bread and wine, <clears throat> make them be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be for the world the body of Christ redeemed by his blood. By your Spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world, till Christ comes in final victory and we feast at his heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forevermore. Amen. And now, with the confidence of the children of God, let us pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, <clears throat> who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. So we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.
This is one loaf. And we, who are many, are one body, the body of Christ, not only the North Cross, United Methodist Church body of Christ, but in communion with Christendom across the world, one big gigantic body of Christ. When we break this bread, it's not a means of sharing in the broken body of Christ that was broken for you and I for our salvation. Christ breaks himself apart, freely gives himself away. You receive, you become transformed, you taste for yourself the sweetness of abundant life. You yourself go out now into the world you break yourself apart for as many people as you possibly can before you take your last breath, teaching them about the love and forgiveness of Jesus. <clears throat> Likewise, when we give thanks over the cup, is it not a means of sharing in the shed blood of Christ? So Christ breaks himself apart and he pours himself out. He empties himself. He pours his love into you and his love ought to pour out of you. The, the more that pours in, is, is, is the more it pours out. There should be no impedance of that flow. This is the Lord's table. It's not the Methodist table. All are welcome to come and receive communion. Just receive communion right where you are. You don't have to be a member of this church that I serve or any church. This is an open table of grace set by Jesus himself. All are welcome to come and receive communion. We receive communion by intinction. We give each other a piece of bread. You dip it into the grape juice and then you could partake both elements at the same time. We serve the unfermented, uh, unfermented fruit of the, of the vine out of sensitivity for those who have special needs in our congregation and certainly out of, out of sensitivity for our children. And so that's why we serve grape juice. So, Let's participate together in this ancient ritual of remembrance. This is the body of Christ broken for you. This is the blood of Christ that was shed for you. Let us pray. Jesus, thank you. Thank you for the love that you displayed to us unselfishly on the cross. Thank you for the sweetness of life that comes from knowing how much you love us, even in our own brokenness. That we would taste the joy of heart prepared for us by you given to us by the power of the Holy Spirit in this lifetime, looking forward with joyful hope to the day that we are fully glorified with you, tasting this sweetness for the rest of our days in eternity. Father, may it begin with us right here, right now, in this world that needs to taste the sweetness of your love. May it start with us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining this morning with the sermon and with communion. Go out and get some ice cream today and rest. Just rest. Don't produce a thing. And give God the glory for all that you have. Amen. <laughs>